Let us read this sentence. I play the guitar. The verb play is telling us that this boy usually plays the guitar. So, this sentence is a fact or a general statement. But if he says, I can play the guitar, what is the main verb here? The main verb is play, but the word can is giving a different meaning to the sentence. It is working with the main verb, which is play, to express something different. What is it expressing? It is expressing an ability or a capability that this boy has. What is the capability? To play the guitar. So, in this case, the word can is being used with the main verb play. So, the rest of the sentence, I play the guitar, remains the same. We have added a new word, can. The word can, which is working with the main verb play, is also another verb. And this verb is helping us show that this boy has the ability or the capability to play the guitar. So, this verb can is changing the meaning of the sentence. Now, if he says, can I play the guitar in the music fest? The word can is again expressing something different. It is working with the main verb to express something different. In this case, what does it express? It expresses a permission or a request that has been asked for to play guitar in the music fest. So in this case, can is also another verb which is working with the main verb play to express something different. In this case, it is asking for permission. Now, if the boy says, I may play the guitar in the music fest, may also is another verb which is working with the main verb play to express something entirely different here. What is it expressing? When he says, I may play the guitar in the music fest, he is telling that there might be a possibility that he plays the guitar in the music fest. He is not sure, but there is a possibility that he may play the guitar in the music fest. So, may is working with the main verb play to express something different. But if this boy says, I will play the guitar in the music fest, again, will is working with the main verb play to express something different. What is he expressing in this case? In this case, he is very sure there is a promise or a certainty that he will play the guitar in the music fest. So, will is another verb which is working with the main verb play to express something different. So, can, may, will are all verbs which are working with the main verbs to express something different each time. These verbs can, may, will are known as modal verbs. So what are modal verbs? Modal verbs are helping verbs. Why are they called helping verbs? Because they work with the main verbs. They help the main verbs to express different meanings and intentions by the speaker. So, modal verbs are helping verbs which work with the main verbs to change the meaning of the sentences. And what do they express? So, words like can, may, will 
and we learn many more such modal verbs express an opinion an ability attitude possibility permission suggestion obligation or necessity depending on their use in the sentences they express several meanings let us look at some commonly used modal verbs would could shall should can might must need used to may will ought to dare has to be able to all these are some examples of commonly used modal verbs now you have regularly used these words in your speech or in your writing but you might not be aware that these words are known as modal verbs and they always work with the main verbs to express different meanings i can play the guitar so can is a modal verb which is working with the main verb play to express an ability or a capability in this case i can play the guitar i is the subject can is the modal verb and play is the main verb so what do we see we see that the modal verbs are always used after the subject and before the main verb you can see can is used after the subject i and before the main verb play in case of questions it reverses the modal verb comes before the subject and then the main verb but in this case can i play the guitar this is a question in this case what happens can is a modal verb which is used before the subject i and then the main verb is used so in case of questions the modal verb is always used before the subject it just reverses now what are verbs we know that the main verbs show the action or the state and auxiliary verbs we know are helping verbs now modal verbs are auxiliary verbs or helping verbs which work with the main verbs so they are known as modal auxiliaries so whether we say modal verbs or we say modal auxiliaries we are referring to the same thing now that you know what is a modal verb let us try to do this exercise fill in the blank with the appropriate modal dash i borrow this book what are the options given to us should will can can we say should i borrow this book no we cannot can we say will i borrow this book no it does not make any sense so the correct answer is can i borrow this book you are asking for permission with the help of the modal verb can so what did we learn today we learned that modal verbs are helping or auxiliary verbs that are used with the main verbs to express different meanings what are the different ideas that can be expressed with the help of modal verbs ability possibility permission obligation suggestion it can also refer to necessity compulsion promise or request now that you know what are modal verbs we will soon learn about the different types and the different usages of the modal verbs don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english 
and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches, and many more, along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.